Hello, this is the next video in a series I'm calling Transformations of Random Variables. And we're going to look at an interesting one today. Um, ultimately, trying to find this, the distribution of this, which I'll explain. Um, here, we're going to let x be, uh, x1 through xn be independent random variables such that each xj has a continuous and strictly increasing distribution function f of j. Now we're going to set yj equal to fj of xj. Um, so the, the uh, so this is what we have and, and we want to show that the random variable x which is two times the sum of the log of 1 minus yj is distributed as a chi-squared with 2n degrees of freedom. So let's let's work on this piecewise. So I have a, a video out that's called Probability Integral Transformation that shows that the distribution function uh, is distributed as a uniform 0, 1 random variable. That is f of y sub j is equal to 1. So that's the distribution of y is uniform 0 to 1. So I'm going to refer back to this, but we're going to assume that the CDF is distributed as a uniform. So now let's let uh, zj equal to minus 2 log of 1 minus yj. Now, uh, and let's find the distribution of zj. So what we do is we back solve for yj and we get this, 1 minus e to the minus 1 half zj. And then the derivative of this with respect to zj is 1 half e to the minus 1 half zj. So the distribution of uh, z, so f of zj, is equal to f of yj, and we plug in this piece to the distribution of of y, which is just one, so it kind of this goes away, and then we take the times the absolute value of the uh, Jacobian or the derivative, which is this. And th since this is always positive, we didn't we didn't need the absolute values, but it probably should be there. Um, now, then we're left with this this function here and as that can be seen that's a chi square with two degree uh, chi square with two degrees of freedom so now I have um, a variable or a, a video that's called transformations sums of chi square random variables where I show that if we sum chi square random variables with two degrees of freedom, the resulting uh, distribution, say x, is a chi-squared with two times n degrees of freedom. But the sum of the xij is, is this, that's what we let zj be, and then you can take the two out front, which then becomes this, and actually, and that's what we wanted to show. We wanted to find the distribution of this, call it x, so that is chi-squared with 2 n degrees of freedom, and that's what we wanted to show. So that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.